Well, the quest for the £20 carp is on. Let's go. Good morning, it's about half nine on the 27th of the 6th, 2009. And I've treated myself this week and come to a very nice fishery. Uh, still in Essex. Um, not a sort of day ticket ball, it's a place you have to book up. It's nice, I'll give you a little show you around. What a lovely place. Right in the countryside. In some slight instances in the farmer's back garden. Beautiful. There seems to be a bit of fishy movement right where some of my boats are. And yeah. Well, it's 12, 12 o'clock now, I've had uh, no luck yet. Um, I think I'm going to have a little change about. I want to keep my right rod in that area under the tree because I've put a lot of bait in there and there's still movement around that area. But it's a sort of fountain thing in the middle. I think I want to have a go at just putting one just to, to the right of that, see if that might throw anything, you know. Um, not always a good idea to move your rods if you're sort of doing an area, but give it a go. But I'm using spicy tuna and sweet chilli dynamite baits liquid attractant. Little bottle of that starts with tomato ketchup. Don't taste that nice though because I've just got some in my mouth by accident. Now I've got some boilies plug in there, which are the matching boilie, the Frank Warwick, spicy tuna, got some chocolate malt ones. I've also got um the air dry. The air dry and one's squid scope X. Um, and I've got a bucket here with all that old fish formula in, catapult, cat, I crush some of that up, catapult it out. And in that bag over there I've got some Vitalin and some sort of pellet um, that I've just been putting into a little tub down there, pouring some boiling water on it and using that as a bit of ground bait as well. I've just got my rods back out. Um, they're all back leaded up so I can play with fishing without getting too tangled up and uh, no, I'm pretty confident really. I mean, I must say, this is an absolutely lovely place. It really is. So, um, no one can come and cast over me and ruin me day. I couldn't even cast over anyone if I wanted to. Because there were the next guys fishing me right over there. There's now only uh, two of us on the lake at the moment, I believe. Yep. I love it. Just want to get a fish don't really want to blank but um, I prefer to blank than go to another place and have some dimwit just set up and cast over me lines there's no etiquette in fishing anymore you know I, was, I know I was talking to someone on the internet the other day was a similar problem um, it's, it's, it's just annoying when people do that to you but so what you have to do is go somewhere where it can't happen to you Right, I'm blogging off. I'm gonna hope I'll get to and I'll do a blog. I want to get a twenty-pound fish. 
just had a bit of a bleep on my left rod there. Um, I don't just bleep on their own. I can hear a thunderstorm in the distance as well. It's still nice and uh, warm. A little bit, a little tiny bit of cloud, but I can hear a thunderstorm. Maybe that will change things. Well, we've just gone for about a quarter past four. Um, it's cooling off a little bit. It's cooling off a little bit. Got to be hopeful for tonight. Got to be packing up tomorrow. Then a 48 hour session to really stay to Sunday evening. But I don't think I will because uh, there's going to be too rushy to everything else. I'll probably just leave about tomorrow afternoon or late part of the morning. Be ashamed to leave. I really do like it here, not that I've caught anything yet. Um, I've seen some big ones in there, you might see that on the video possibly. Um, but I really like it, I'll be doing here again, whatever. Just just you know, just for the scenery, just for the peacefulness and uh, well, just everything about it. Everything about it. Log over. Nothing yet, but um, I can see a little bit of movement where in middle rod is, but I've seen movement over the rods pretty much all the time since I've been here. Um, I've only had one bite, which was last night. Um, I know it's more of a night walk anyway, I was told that, so hopefully, you know, it's it cool, it's cooled off now a bit. Yeah, thunder. I might turn the camera off with all the thunderstorm because I think that yeah, might be dangerous and might, might cause death, which is extremely bad for your health. Not enough. And here comes the rain, the guy falls. Um, not a bad thing, I don't think. I think it might, um, might stimulate the fish, then we don't get the thunder. Maybe we can't be holding fishing rods in the air in lightning. Highly dangerous. Well, we've got a bit more thunder now, so um, I've had bites in other places before when it's got like this. You sort of hope you don't get it happen, but if someone stimulates the fish, you never know. You shouldn't really have fishing rods uh, be doing it, so I don't know whether to bring them in or not. That would be the wise thing to do. But, um, if I do, however, get struck by lightning, this will be my last vlog, ever. Storm, so I set that out for a long while because when it eventually stops, I just got my rods out, bought them in, put new PVA bags on them, new boilies, glow in the dark, sweet corn pop ups. Um, and they've gone to the same sort of areas, they're baited up, we've got a certain amount of bait, only a couple of handfuls here and there, but that's that. The right rod is over over here quite tight tight in the uh, margins really and the other